Other graves yield the suggestion that the ancient Peruvians were accomplished neurosurgeons. At the Cusco Archaeological Museum, Dr. Fernando Caballesis, professor of neurosurgery at the University of San Marcos, demonstrates. These skulls here uh, are a, uh, just a very small sample of the tremendous amount of skulls that were found in the uh, graves of the ancient Peruvians. I think that uh, all in all, we have studied more than 10,000 skulls that uh, have been unearthed. Now, these are some of the instruments that they used. This is called the tumi, tumi knife, which was used this way just to open the skull. This cannot be used in the bone. They used, to open the bone, they used other bronze instruments like this, just to pry up the bone, like here, prying up the bone. There are some other odd instruments like this, just to, to make these indentations. And there are at least two different, uh, two dozen different uh, other instruments that were used also. This one here is a very interesting specimen. It shows a very persistent surgeon. You find here that this man suffered four operations, and he survived every one of them. Either it was a very sick man or, or a very persistent individual who operated on them. But he was a very good technician because after all, these areas, especially these two openings, are right over very, very dangerous sites that even right now, with all the techniques that we use now, we would just be very much afraid of operating in these sites. And this man really survived these operations in Calca near here, near Cusco, where about, I would say, 85% of these skulls show healed trephonations. 85% of survivals from skull operations is a pretty good and excellent uh, result. 